and then probably fancy kinds of shuriken. Fancy kind of shuriken. The burns look electrical in nature. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, that 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 file mentioned that Wuhan dude liked Pan Pacific tech. He liked obscure technologies and weapons. So this is a this is a sign that uh, probably had something new with this. I think. Okay. And and you're not wrong. Um, it does indicate that he wants to to find technology from various realms. Um, let's see. It looks like he would use it as well on his victims. Yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. very much so. Um, all right. Do you guys have any ideas for plans or anything like that that you want to uh, that you kind of want to execute? Um, can I? Trying to figure out. I, uh, we... Oh, sorry, go ahead, Ross. Wait, wait a second, Chris. Nightbird? I'm sure. Yeah, I was wanting to know if I can figure out what kind of weapons these are specifically. Uh, like, if I can, if I have access to, like, a database or something I can look them up on. You don't need a database. One of the weapons in particular. Know you have a copy of in fact you've got a two in fact you've got a copy of two of the weapons that can be seen uh, the injuries for in that file you already know the one is is probably some kind of an electrical shuriken uh, and then you're very certain very certain that uh, some of the other wounds in the pictures were caused by uh, um, uh, electrical katanas. Uh, what is, what are those okay. called specifically? Again, uh, Mar literally mono katana type things or something. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, it's similar. That's what they're called in cyberpunk in general. Oh uh, like yeah, mono planes and whatnot. Yeah. So yeah, you you've got an electric katana or a charged katana, however you would like to say that. Um, mm -hmm. uh, and then you notice that there are other marks that came from Katana and Wakazashi like you own that are not electrified, but they are made of materials that make cuts almost paper thin. Yeah. Okay, yeah. now, I know that real-world Katanas and Wakazashis that are sharpened properly can cut a very tight furrow to where it's almost not seen. Okay? Yeah, they're the proper folding steel ones correct sure. correct and this is even thinner yeah so they're higher tech ones like 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 probably what i have yes exactly so. like what you have <laughs> so but yep, okay what you don't notice in any of the pictures are messy laser marks or bullet wounds Anybody have uh, any thoughts on that? <laughs> Did they pick up the casing? Well, they may have, well, they, if they use the laser, then they don't, that, that wouldn't leave any casings. Correct. Um, if I could, I may, may have failed the evidence analysis. It's probably it's from the ninja type. Uh -huh. If someone points out, hey, these look like burns, I'm, I might be able to roll again and classify there you go. Um, I related. Okay, so. Uh, well, I'm gonna help certainly tell tell them you know what I know. Like this is made by a weapon similar to the ones I own. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, but, but so this was definitely tech from my country. You mm -hmm. know, from my place of origin. So. So, Ginger, um, yes. go ahead and roll an evidence analysis with a plus two. All right. How do I get the plus two? Uh, you should be able to type it into the top right. 
of the of the the, the panel that comes up. Uh, uh, roll bonus plus two. Yes. All right. Let's see if I can talk about burns and their sequelae. <laughs> A 13 is not bad. Okay, standard success. All right. Here is what you understand after Nightbird explains what she does about the various weapons is that the the laser burns um, are just messy enough that, uh, that um, they would have ca not only cauterized the wound, but then the victims of those shots uh, would have died from shock within minutes. So the the weapons are kind of kind of um, they're not quite tharcold uh, quality for pain, but they they did not go. Who, um, Victoria and the daughter did not go uh, painlessly. Especially since they didn't have any armor on. Um, do you have any? I mean, uh, and, and with that role, do you have any specific questions that you would ask me? Mm. Uh, were these uh, uh, mostly for for a uh, nightbird? Could probably answer them. Uh, were these long distance weapons? What's about the range of these? I mean, well, we, uh, well, in Pantona and the planes are certainly, you know, melee up close. Uh, uh, can I tell if it's if if it's a rifle or a pistol for the laser? Uh, no, not really. A laser beam is going to be a laser beam. They don't really have yes. much in the way of uh, of calibers or anything like that. But yeah, because I'm, well, I mean, I have a sum machine gun. But there's a, over my shoulder. <laughs> a yeah. But there's a question that you could ask about environment, where the bodies were found. Yeah, uh, yeah. Where um, like where the bodies all near one another in separate rooms. Uh, they were in found in separate area. rooms. Uh, the the wife Victoria was found um, uh, at the bottom of the stairs from the third level to the second. She was found on the second level at the bottom there, of the stairs. Okay, is there was there a balcony? Um, no. Or open stairwell. Uh, it was uh, it was pretty much an open stairwell. Yeah. Okay, so she was shot coming down the stairs and fell the rest of the way, probably. <clears throat> um, and then the young lady, I think her name, uh, let's see, was Cynthia, yeah. Um, Cynthia was found in her bed, um, uh, near the hall entrance of the room. Uh, is that like on the first floor? Uh, no, actually, she was. I believe she's on the second. I would have to let me go over to the map real quick because uh, right. <laughs> so, I think she's on the second. Yeah. So, so the assassin got the assassin or assassins got in, shot everybody that was awake, went up to the second level and shot. The daughter, the mom, heard something, came down the stairs and got shot by them probably leaving. That's what I'm Bouchard? theorizing. Yeah, Bouchard looks at you and he says, that's some great theory. Um, I, I would still like to go in, and look at the scene, if you don't mind. Oh, uh, well, certainly. But, uh, yeah. I would like to see... If I can, t you know, at the scene, if I can tell if it was one or more. Ah, yes. Uh, uh, go ahead, Ginger. Well, I want to just see if the scene has been tossed or what were they looking for? Did they get it? Right, 
Right. Uh, and Bouchard yeah, looks at you and he's like, yeah, we, we, I haven't been in there and, um, uh, forensics is still tied up. They, they won't be able to be there. Uh, oh, wait a minute. They actually, they should have just gotten there. They, uh, forensics will probably be done wrapping up the scene by the time we get there. Um, I ha- I'm trying to think about my timing. Forgive me, my friends. Um, because <laughs> uh, there is a timeline to this. Um, uh, anybody else? Any questions, queries, quibbles, quips, arguments? Anything <laughs> like that? Okay. Do we need a break before we go on? No, let's go. I'm okay. Okay. All right. Let's keep on keeping on. Let's keep on keeping on. Okay, so um, Bouchard invites you back out to take a ride. Um, he says in this particular instance, uh, if you wanted to take your vehicle with you, you will probably need it. Yeah, I'm taking my bike. Okay, or vehicles, I'm sorry. Uh, and he's more than happy to, uh, uh, to lead you all there. Uh, the, uh, uh, Detective Dahmer, who has the same first name I just realized as the, uh, daughter, <laughs> um, <laughs> I, I completely forgot about that. Anyway, uh, uh, Detective Dahmer is remaining at the other apartment, uh, as they continue to clean up that scene in particular. Okay. Now, we're going, let's see, I need to preload the scene. All of you should have had a loading bar just a moment ago, and I'm going to bring you all over here in just a moment. Um, uh, We are going to scene three. There we go. Uh Uh-oh, somebody got stuck. There we go. Okay, do all of you see the map? (laughs) Do all of you see the map okay? Yep. Okay. I see the map. It is supposed to be daytime, so I'm not sure how much how much uh, you guys actually see. Um, I don't think I'm going to get it any brighter. So, okay. So you have Captain Bouchard right here. They removed. can't move. You can't move. Oh, that's because yeah, the yeah. game is paused. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, let yeah. me let me describe the scene real quick. Okay. Sure. Uh, the bottom of the afternoon sun is close to touching the horizon when you arrive at the Parkhurst home. Captain Bouchard was satisfied to continue with you, though once you're uh, parked and are approaching the house, both police officers at the front door move forward, holding their hands out. Uh, the one on the left explaining. Let me get these guys move forward a little bit. Uh, the one on the left explaining, uh, sorry, Captain, but the commissioner just called us personally and explained no one, not even the Delphi Council, is allowed inside unless they're official Madison or Nashville uh, PD. Bouchard uh, kind of looks back at you all, and, and he's got kind of a confused look on his face. Then he looks back uh, quickly and queries the officer on the left. Uh, you must both be from Nashville then. Where did my people go? The officers look at one another, then back at the captain, uh, the one on the right explaining this time, we relieved them 15 minutes ago. Did either of them call to ask for confirmation or report they had been relieved? Bouchard and both officers share looks of confusion, then the captain uh, pulls the cell radio from his belt and calls, Bouchard de Fusque, come in. Uh, uh, Paul? Yeah. Can I do like some sort of... uh, I guess like insight check or what what would i have to roll to see if like yeah. are these guys telling the truth right now by when they meant relieved of duty do they mean permanently hang on just a minute uh, so all of you are kind of thinking that the 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 situation is pretty suspicious Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm prepared for... I think we're hard to do so with that kind of laugh you just made. Uh, you guys are the best. Okay. <laughs> All of you just got a possibility. 
lots of paranoid at this point. Oh well, yeah, I, I have a tendency to make you guys paranoid. Let's see, what uh, what would be uh, what would be good here? Uh, you know what? Y'all give me a straight mind test. Mind. 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 Yep. There, there's no skill for what I'm trying to do. So All right, here we go. Okay, and once I've got everybody's rolls. <laughs> All right, hold on. My computer's being oh, kind of slow right now. Sorry. Okay, no worries. No worries. Take your time. <laughs> my mind. Where did my mind go? Uh, <laughs> of all the things I've lost, I miss my mind the most. There you go. There's. <laughs> uh, I think Artorias just lost his. Okay. All right. Let's see. So uh, that was 11 minutes ago. This is now. Okay. So, oh, yes, God. Chris, you got a good success. Nightbird, unless you want to try and add something to it, like throw a possibility into it or something, uh, which I would allow since you're suspicious, or if you've got a hero or a drama card in your hand. Um, which... Yes. Ginger? I'll be right. Okay. Okay. Uh, I'll just throw a possibility because I don't have a hero or a. Okay. Do you want me to reduce your? Do you want me to reduce your possibilities, or do you want to? Uh. Yeah. Oh, here it is. Did Did it reset yet? Did what reset? Impossibilities. No, um, they still haven't figured out how to get the uh, possibility thing uh, to reduce automatically when you click the possibility line on the uh, on the card. Uh, no, on, in but the I window. used some in previous game, so should oh, no. I have them? No, 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 not yet. Not until the act. No, uh, all right. Yeah, well. they don't replenish until the act. But I did just give every one of you a possibility for for being. You know, as smart as as you are, as suspicious oh, as you man. are. So, so uh, wait, did we have? Wait, did we have to put, input that by hand, or did you do that for us? I did that for all of you, myself. Did you do it by hand? Yeah. Because... Okay. Um. Yeah. Uh. Chris, right. you ha you only had three. Ginger had three. Kit. Uh. Catherine had two. Uh, Remy had four, and then Ross, you only had one one remaining. So I, I increased oh, all of okay. yours by one. I have this handy little okay. thing on the player's window where I can increase and decrease your possibilities. So, yeah, all right. Well, then I, won't, I don't want to use one. I'll just... I'll just let my friends tell me what's going on. Okay, so yeah, Nightbird, you're kind of looking around. You're naturally suspicious, but you're not really seeing anything that is out of the ordinary. Okay? Um, yeah. So let's see. Let me go back and do this again. So Chris succeeded really well by more than 10. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, by, by 9. So not quite a, an awesome success, but uh, let's see. Nightbird failed. Uh, Artorias, fortunately, mishaps don't do anything for mind tests. At least oh most of God. them. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> uh, Rios succeeded and Peaches succeeded. Okay. Okay. The hackles on the three of you are up pretty seriously. Um, let's see. Chris. I'm going to steal you for a minute. Uh oh. Okay, are you there? Yeah. Okay. okay. You brought me over yourself. Okay. You are pretty certain you see a shadow flash on the ground for the for the merest of moments, but you can't identify who it is. And when you look up, uh, whatever might have made the shadow is gone. It could have been a bird. But it seemed a little bit more round than that. It could have been since you're in. Uh, <laughs> if I play a card, uh huh, uh, the alertness card, would I? Could I get more information? Um, you know, you probably could. Hang on, just a second. I gotta, I gotta smile at at uh, danger zone here. Okay, I am going to move you back up to up to the uh, thing, 
And uh, actually, did you did you want to play that beforehand? The alertness card. Uh, I mean, sure. Why okay, not? go ahead and play your alertness card. Okay. Do, do, do. Play. Okay, now let me read there it to make go. sure. You notice an otherwise unseen item, clue, or event. Alertness may be played out of your hand at the start of an ambush to prevent the heroes from being surprised. Okay. <sighs> Nicely done. Hang on. Okay. You're uh, related by the local wildlife. <laughs> oh, bird. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. I was actually thinking, oh, squirrel. <laughs> okay. The, the straight cat on the sidewalk. <laughs> For those of you, or can you guys hear me okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Yes. For those of you who are paying really good yeah. attention, uh, let's see. Well, not me. Except peaches. Peaches, you're not going to see this, but uh, Rios, you're looking over in Chris' direction, Chris's direction, at the same time he looks up, and he gets into a fighting stance. Okay, at this point, uh, let me let me do this right. This officer right here, I don't know why my, my icon changed. That's really weird. This officer right here, uh, Officer Card, um, uh, looks over uh, and sees uh, uh, sees Chris look up toward the roof, and Officer Shang uh, moves up here, uh, pulls a katana, and cuts the radio in Captain Bouchard's hand in half. Okay. Does not does not hurt does not hurt the captain, but um, none of you are surprised because if you if you go to the chat window, well, except for Artorius. <laughs> oh wait, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? I was putting the straight. I was putting the straight cat. <laughs> okay. All right. So if <laughs> yep yep you are, but hang on. We're not ready for the samurai just yet. So it, Chris did something that was really great for all of you guys. He had an alertness card and he played it. Now, alertness says you notice an otherwise unseen <laughs> item, clue, or event. Alertness may be played out of your hand at the start of an ambush to prevent the heroes ah. from being surprised. Now, one, two. Okay, these guys jump down from the roof. And they will be coming forward depending on how um, uh, on on how everything pans out. Now, let me get everybody into the encounter. Oh, stop, stop, stop. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, everybody's fighting. There we go. Everybody was kung fu fighting. Kung fu fighting. Oh. <laughs> I need to adjust. I'm going to have to adjust my. Uh oh, I don't think I can adjust my. Oh no, I don't want to turn everybody. What? What? What's going on here? Okay, so you have uh, two guys dressed as ninjas that uh, come out. Uh, I'm not, I'm not pretty, I don't know, Chris, would you scream a warning? Would you yell a warning first? Uh, ninjas! There's freaking ninjas! <laughs> <laughs> What's a ninja? Uh, you're about to find out. Um, let's see, that's reset initiative. I don't want to reset initiative. Combat tracker settings, I don't need to do that. What I need to do is zoom this down a little bit. Uh-oh. I'm not sure I can zoom this window down. Uh-oh. <laughs> uh -oh. <laughs> Open the sidebar. Nope. The sidebar doesn't do anything. Critical problem. So, so why was I distracted or not? Or I saw you Chris in his posture? Or what? Uh, in essence, you failed. I failed? But I had a standard success. Oh, yeah, she rolled again, and uh, I think she might have spent a possibility, Paul. Did you spend a possibility? 
No, no, no. I had a standard success on the mind test. Okay, hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Oh, oh that's right. Sniper. Um, let's see. Peaches. If you if you will look at your um, token in the yard, you'll notice that you're in front of the rest of your friends. So you yeah. you did not see um, you did not see Chris suddenly look up. He had a roll of nineteen. He had the best uh, out of all of you. So he was the one uh, with an action total of nineteen. He was the one who was able to see more. Okay. Um, with that, that allowed me to play that alertness card. Otherwise, I wouldn't have known. At about, oh, wow. at about the same time. Oh, there you go. That's a cool representation there in the in the uh, Discord. Um, at okay, so. Uh, it's, it's my favorite GI Joe. Oh yeah, yeah. D uh, have you seen guys. the Snake Eyes movie? No, man. Yeah. I have uh, uh, an action figure. Well, I have the. Uh, I bought, I bought the Snake Eyes and Storm Trail action figures from it. Yeah, the... Uh, it on sale. the I heard it wasn't that great. It's not. Uh, the action figure is going to be more fun. Um, anyway... Uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I watched the movie all the way through, um, but that's two and a half hours of my life I'll never get back. So, um, so Rio succeeded, and she saw... Officer Shang here moving forward at the same time she saw Chris look up in alarm. And um, then he yelled uh, uh, frickin' ninjas uh, at the same time Ginger saw Officer Shang drawing his sword. Okay. Now... You guys were about to be surprised, but because of the card that Chris played, you are not surprised. Uh, now, let me start up the fight, uh, if I can remember how. Uh, <laughs> I think I have to go to the bottom, which means I have to, to uh, scan out even further. Oh, there we go. That's that's handy. Le this is kind of a pain okay. in the tukus. So, 80, the 75. There we go. The other one surprised. Is Arturus who rolled a one? Yeah, Ar Ar Artorius has kind of turned around, gawking at the building, you know that sort of thing. Okay, so begin combat. Okay, round one. Uh, the fluff of the card is uh oh, and that's actually apt for this. Um, this is a standard scene. It is not dramatic. Uh, the if this was a dramatic skill resolution. Uh, the DSR would be a critical problem, which means you would get a chance to roll, but if you failed, it would cause some serious nastiness. It is a standard scene, so the villains will get to go first, and the heroes actually get a setback, which actually is kind of fitting for the story, uh, if I'm being honest. Uh, now, nobody move anything yet, okay? When I unpause, don't move nothing. Where you are is where you are. That's where you're going to start at. Um, so, let's see. Defend and trick are your approved actions. So if you if you need to defend, you can do uh, you can declare a, a uh, active defense. In which case, you would uh, click in your character sheet on the defense button that was turning red and blue earlier uh, to get an automatic roll out of it, and then it would be considered uh, as such. And then a uh, if you wanted to perform a trick on any of these four guys, you could. Now, Officer Shang already has his katana out, and it looks like a regular katana. Officer Card has his katana out, and yes, also regular. And then these guys. Now, uh, I'm going to deal with Officer Shang first. Let's get him open. Oh, yeah, I forgot about that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, that's not very Let's handy. Let's get him open. Yeah, get... Let's get him open. Sounds like a very fun euphemism for cutting him down. <laughs> and I got to get Captain Bouchard open. <laughs> <laughs> I, already, I already know that I want to uh, use my shield and my axe in defense of Captain Bouchard. So I'm going to back him up if I can um, from getting contested, if if possible. Well, let's see. Um, defending others. Um, an active defense really only works for yourself. 
Um, do you or anyone else have any cards that would allow you to act first? No. Doesn't look like it. Okay. I can't check in my laptop. I want to act up. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? That's, my laptop's acting up right now, so I, I can't check. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. I just got to play the waiting game right now. Yeah, I hear you. Okay. Uh, okay, so... I... What, Ginger? Do we, with if we have the uh, perk awareness, do we get to put the card in our pool now? Uh, since you were not surprised, if you have situational awareness, you are welcome to do so. I just saw your shield ring activate, um, uh, uh, Chris, so you're good there. Oh, uh, guys, check your armor. Make sure you've got armor on. Uh, I'm going uh, to assume I was, that... I was I'll... checking that right there, and I was making sure. Okay, all right. So if your armor is in the passive effects on your effects tab, uh, then then you should be good to go. If, uh, if you have something in the inactive effects part of the effects tab then that means it is not available uh, f uh, for your use right now, okay? Um, and you would need to, to uh, actually, that needs to be a, 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 um, a uh, activating the ring is a free action, right? I think it is. So, let's see. Yep, it is. Okay, that's what I thought. Uh, I just wanted to make certain. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, wait a minute, where is it? It should be, I thought it was a free action. The magic ring, uh, as a free action, yes. It, it gives you a solid medium shield as a free action. Okay, so if you have other free actions to do, we'll have to discuss how they're done. All right. So the ninja goes to slice at. Let's see. Let's let's hope this works. Huh? What is? Is this going to allow me? Yes. Okay. I'm going to move the combat tracker over here so that I can then go back and look at the at the chat. Okay. So uh, that's Officer Shang. I'm going to mark him as being done, but he's not done yet. Okay. Uh, I need to roll for him and make sure, let's see, oh, wait, I need to target him and then try and roll. Okay, target melee weapons or dexterity, wait a minute, that should be his dodge. Target dexterity, target dodge or dexterity, oh. Oh, it picked the, the correct one, okay. Uh, nothing, it's not disfavored, walking, multi-action penalty, multi-target penalty, attack options. It's not an all-out attack. What about an aimed attack? Uh, let's see, exchanging this turn's action. No, we're not going to do that. And all-out attack, exchange this turn's action. Nope. Blind fire, no. Concealment, none. Okay, I can just roll. I, it's going to take me a little while to get used to this uh, skill test thing also. So let's see, what does this do? 10? Ooh! 12? Okay, that, that's not too much. Okay, so Bouchard takes two shock, and it is not automatically figured yet. There's a lot of things these guys are going to try and, and figure out. Okay, so that's him. Uh, and that's him. Okay, Officer Card... Yeah, officer card is going to move forward and go to attack. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. He's going to move forward and attack Chris, uh, which means that I need to take that target off of there and put it on there instead. Boy, this is this is going to be fun. Oh, they do have electric katanas. <laughs> Okay, and target melee, or, okay, roll. Ooh, one, ooh, oh, 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 
Oh, hold on. I got. Hold come on, Sprinkler. Come on and electrocute him. Come on. Please hey. say something stupid. Welcome to the hey, one club. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. There, there is an effect here, but I have to. I think I have to go to the end of the scene in order to find it. Mm. Oh no, no! I actually have to go to the next scene because you're in scene three now. House of Blood. Oh, oh no! <laughs> <laughs> uh, see the image. Fight notes. Okay. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> It'll be okay. Don't worry about it. You guys will be just fine. I mean, everybody's going to be down with me and Peaches anyway, so. <laughs> I just want to warn everyone, if anybody starts drinking blood, I do have a silver spear. Might not do anything. Can <laughs> <laughs> they heal oh. magic ring? <laughs> uh, if your vampires are taken care of by a wooden stake, not a silver stake. <laughs> You know, I was I've, very careful. I've got another end of the spear. <laughs> I was very careful just, to put all my it. notes together. <sighs> oh, there we go. Okay. Oh, crap. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, so the, the Ninja Discos. Okay. Um... Let's see, how do I mark that? Is that a disconnect? Okay, he is disconnected. Okay. Um, oh. So, oh, what did I do that for, Knucklehead? Oh, he's possibility rated? Uh, no. Well, you're not really going to find that out, so yes and no. He's possibility rated for himself. Let's give you that piece of, of information. Oh, nice. Okay. <laughs> All right. So officer card disconnects. Um, but he does. Uh, let's see. What what did he roll? It was a mishap. So he's going to miss. Uh, he is. Okay. His electric katana stops working. And that's pretty much it. Yeah. That's pretty much it. So... Uh, what else does he have? Nothing there. Okay. So that's one, two. You know what? Let me move these guys here. Like so. Okay. Move Bouchard up here so that he's easier to deal with. Okay. Uh, why aren't those guys listed properly? All right. So that's weird. I thought I fixed that. Okay, actually, let's see, Ninja 01, let's do it that way, update token, and, um, <laughs> sorry guys, I thought I had this fixed, I may, I may have dropped these guys on the map long enough ago that I forgot that I, I had, you know, needed to fix it, and did not fix these guys, so while they're good for statistics, they weren't good for their name, so, okay, so, Officer Card, uh, let's see, Officer Shang, Officer Card, okay, come on, let's move these guys up front. Wait a minute, why is he on there? He was never on there. He was never supposed to be on there. So, let's see, one, two, none of those guys are supposed to be on there. Don't believe I did that. Okay, so your your combatants just got a little bit easier to deal with because I was an idiot. All right. Huh? Yep, I was a knucklehead. So, uh, Officer Shang and Officer Carter done. Uh, Ninja One is. I'm going to move him forward. Oh, why not? How far can they move? Let me pop him open. And. Okay. Ooh. They can kind of haul butt. All right. So, Rios, you see yonder ninja coming straight after you. Uh oh. 
Okay. Uh, Catherine. Okay, Catherine just disconnected. Her computer disconnected from the internet. She's trying to reconnect now. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Attack I, me instead, then. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna. I'm going to close this. Okay. Oh no, he needs to go down here. I just need to remember that for later. Uh, I'm gonna move this ninja back where he was. And, Cat, is that you? Yes. Huzzah! Okay, you're so you're back, and you're still logged into the game. I'm not sure if it ever logged you out. Are you able to spin your character? Uh, let me see. What do you mean by spin my character? Uh, can you click on your token, and then? Use hold down your shift key and spin your mouse wheel. Uh, I don't exactly have a mouse. Um, okay, uh, can you use your WASD you keys? Laptop. Oh, okay, can you use your A or D key to turn left or right? No, it does not look like it. Oh, well, that's that would be movement anyway. Okay, so what we're going to need to do is... I'm trying to refresh the page now. I'll see if that helps. Okay, yeah, see see if that helps. If it doesn't, I'll have to, I'll have to boot you and have you log back in. Okay, okay was that go. you that just moved? Yes. Okay, so... Uh, all right, so Yonder Ninja here uh, just charged up to you. And is going to take a swipe at you. Okay. Um, so let's see. Target mover dexterity. Uh, cat, cat, tell your dad that the order came in and it's in the fridge. That's what the doorbell was all about. Oh, too bad. I already ordered another order, so let's go. Ah. Uh, okay. Yeah. So, My dad ordered a second sandwich, and I have to go pick it up for him. I'm sorry. Um. Okay, well, I'll mark two shock on you real quick, because that's all you took. And, okay. All I'll right. Right back. I'm so sorry. No worries. It's all right. We'll let you live this time. <laughs> okay. Never so. Never again. Never again. Okay, so I'm going to take the T off of her, and then I have oh, and then I have this other ninja. Oh, you, oh, wait a minute. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, Ross, you're going to love me. Oh. Okay. So uh, that was Ninja 1. Ninja 2 is going to attack. Ross, are you still with us? No. Yeah. Okay. Don't worry. You're, you're going to get you're going to get to hit this this Joker here in a minute. Okay. Yeah. I, want, I was going to try and protect the captain, but it looks like peaches can take care of business. Yeah, yeah. that's so exactly... I'm going to be cutting some ninja. <laughs> okay. But he gets to try and cut you first. So... Uh, I do have armor on. So. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know. I, I've also got to read these ninja real quick. I can't remember if they get two attack or not. Key strike, whirlwind... Uh, a cloak of darkness. So no, they do not get a second uh, a second move. Okay, eleven. Okay, so oh, I didn't target you. Dog on it. Okay, so let's see. Um, let me target you and re-roll because I'm pretty certain I just missed. But let's make sure that it's 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 truthful. And fifteen. Okay, so let's see. We rolled a 13 versus a 10, 15 versus 14. Uh, okay, I'm not going to have you take damage on this one uh, because you do have the armor, uh, and and I screwed up on the targeting. So, all right. So let's see. That is those guys. Now, you know what? I might be able to blow this page back up again. Let me... Try and get more tools. 
Can I? Can I? Yes! Yay! Okay, now I can actually see things. All right. Um, so, you guys have a, uh, a setback. Okay? A setback... The GM devises an unfortunate happenstance for the affected side. Uh, see Core 112 for examples. Uh, I'm not going to look for an example. What I'm going to do... Is that supposed to happen at the beginning or the end of the round? Uh, yes. at, the, at the beginning of your turn. Um, of, of each person's turn, basically. So, the villains went first. Um... I'm going to say, uh, what was that, Ginger? Have I had it? I haven't had a chance to go yet. No, none of you have yet. Okay. Because okay. it was Keep the checking. villain's turn. Ah. <laughs> okay, so uh, let's see. Here's what I'm going to do. Uh, because you barely got a warning before they attacked. I'm going to say all of you are off guard just enough that you get a penalty of two to your die rolls. Okay? Just enough. But at least you get to act this turn. Okay? So that's the important part. So, again, um, the five of you need to decide. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, that's correct. The, f uh, the five of you need to decide what it is you want to do during the round. There is no actual initiative in Torg Eternity. So you guys decide how you're going to act. What this does is it allows you to choose to do things uh, that your character uh, can do in a certain order that you designate. Uh, for a uh, uh, clarifying question, are they coming? Uh, are the ninjas coming off of the roof or around the building? Uh, they they dropped off of the roof beside the front cover of the front corner of the building. As soon as you noticed them, they noticed you, and they dropped. And we don't see any more, do we? You do not at the present time. <laughs> okay. Well, I mean, I'm just going to try to deal with the guy in front of me real quick. Okay, well, let, yeah, let's let's do this. Wants to do something first. Let's do this. Let me go down the list. Uh, Nightbird, what would you like to do? Draw my electric katana and uh, take this dude down. Okay, you, you just want to attack. Okay. Yep. Uh, Peaches? And I'm probably going to... Do key strike and do extra damage if I hit. Okay. Uh, the key strike. I think that's only for unarmed, isn't it? Uh, let me see here real quick. Uh, it says melee damage. damage total, melee weapons, or unarmed combat. So yeah, you can definitely do that. I should have done that with with my ninja. I didn't read it. My fault. Um. So that's fine. Okay. Uh, peaches. I'm going to advance to uh, Officer Shang and gauge him. Okay. Uh, and also to uh, protect Captain Bouchard. Okay, so you're going to kind of step in the gap. All right. Yeah. Um, forward again? Huh? No, don't don't there move forward go. yet. Well, you can move forward, just don't, you know, uh, right. don't okay. don't engage anything yet. We're still trying to make plans. I'm trying to get all of you into the mindset that you can work together as characters and make plans to accomplish things in a better way, if you know what I mean. Um, okay, uh, Artorius, what is it you would like to do? I would like to assist with attacking uh, Officer Shang by trying to maybe take the, the flank, take his left flank if I can. Okay, now don't forget, you guys can move... Uh, a, a number of squares equal to your dexterity. Each one of these squares is one meter. So you can move up to 32 feet if you've got a dexterity of 10. Okay? Um, or up to 10 spaces, as it were. Um, uh, come on, laptop. But don't, don't, 
don't you. don't start moving yet. I want to make sure that nobody else has a plan or an idea that they want to execute and have every, all the rest of you guys get on board. Uh, Chris, you're just going to engage uh, the guy in front of you? Yeah, that was my plan. Okay, right now he has a very surprised look on his face. You're not entirely sure why that is. You as the player know that he's disconnected, and he's probably never disconnected before. Um, uh, hence the surprise on his face. Rios, what are you and... A oh, wait a minute. Rios just went to get a sandwich. Um you know went on an errand for my dad yeah oh no no i know that's pretty cool that's that's fine um i'm gonna have rios and andon go last as kind of a reserve and i will figure out something good to do uh between the two of them uh so there was no grand plan no no amazing scheme you guys want to pop out so um we're just going to go from the top of the list down nightbird you go to attack first All right. Okay. So yes. uh, you said uh, you said there's a modifier. Well, uh, yeah, you've got a modifier of two. We'll deal with that in a moment. Uh, take your cursor right. over the top of the ninja. Yeah. And yep. hit T. Hit T. Yep. Okay. And then go ahead and click for your attack. Yeah. Okay. And yes, you're going to have a, uh, in the upper right corner of that window. You're going to have a modifier of minus two. But wait a minute. Uh, let's see. What was that key strike? Take one shock to increase melee damage total by two. So when you go to use that, you'll you'll uh, put one shock on your character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I want to make sure I hit first. Yeah, make yeah. sure you hit first for certain. So go ahead and roll it. All right. Jeez, about to whoop somebody's ass. That's awesome. Now I, want to, now I want to do the key strike. Okay, so <laughs> you take one shock, and I'll figure out the damage. So damage of 15 versus a toughness of 8. So let's see. Um, 15, uh, let's see. That was a good success. Okay, so that's still only a good success. Um, uh, so you get a roll. You get a roll one bonus dice. So on the card, huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah, go ahead and roll one bonus dice. So okay, so here, here's what I'm gonna do. The BD on the card. Yeah, exactly. The BD on the card. Okay, so that's going to get, um, that's a damage of, yeah, 17, uh, 18, 19. That's still not quite enough. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, hold on. Uh, damage 17 versus toughness of 8. Uh, so that's damage of 19 versus an 8, so that leaves 11. Uh, that is, at, why didn't it go back and calculate? It says 1 wound, 2 shock. It should have been two wounds for shock. No, well, no, it says the key strike does increases melee damage to one point two. Right, your melee. I don't think that. I don't think that ends in. You gotta do that fairly manually. Yeah, no, that uh, exactly. The melee damage total increased by two means that your damage. Hey, very nice. Thank you. Um. Uh, increases your your damage value of 13 to a 15 but then you rolled a bonus die so that increased it up to a 19 so that should have given you uh, let's see 19 that's 11 so okay so yeah that should have been uh, much more than you needed okay uh, so that's two wound and two shock on that guy so let's see oh he's already up so let's see two wounds will it let me do two wounds hey it did it uh allow me to do that two wounds and four shock okay so old boy is down uh hang on just a second